Hey, Tyler here from Enigma Pictures, and today we're going to show you how to do that effect where the uh, thing, object, slowly starts to wiggle um, using a wiggle expression. So, let's get started. First thing we do is uh, open up After Effects, make a new composition, 1920, and call it Wiggler, whatever. Um, now we're going to make two layers, solid, black, one with background. I'll make that black. And then hit Command Y if you're on a Mac, or uh, Control Y if you're on a PC. To make another one, we'll call that Element, and we'll drag in Element. I'll wait for that. Okay, so open up Element, and I'm just going to use one of these uh, presets, I guess. I won't import anything. So Starter Pack, and let's just use. Uh, actually, let's use the Coke can. I like the Coke can. Okay, so here's the Coke can. We'll get rid of this clock. Okay, so here's the Coke clan, and what you want to do is you need to change the anchor point to wherever you want it to wiggle from. Since I'm making it wiggle on the table, I'm going to want it to be at the bottom so that all the wiggle expressions change from the bottom. Uh, orientation was not a good example, but you'll see when I get there. So yeah, so then we're just going to go in here and position it uh, first, get it to the right position. And then let's open the rotation options and decide what rotation we want. So I think I'm going to use X because I like the way that. And 20. 20 seems to be a, a good number for that value, and 20 seems to be a good number for that value. So I don't think I want it to wiggle any more than that, otherwise, it would tip over in real life. So I'm just uh, remembering that. I'm going to set it back to 0, 0. And then I'm. I want it to slowly start to wiggle, so I'm going to option click on the stopwatch here to bring up this expression, and then I'll show you the wiggle expression. So you type in wiggle, and the first number is the frequency, and the second number is the amplitude, so like the amount of pixels. So it's wiggling five times, or 20 pixels every five seconds. So if you make that 15, it means it'll wiggle faster, 15 times or 20 pixels every 15 seconds. So once you put an expression you can't keyframe anything so we're gonna make a new null object and put a slider slider controller preset on it or effect on it um, and then we'll keyframe that effect and that effect will then be representative of the first number in the expression. So let's say I want it to stay in still for the first two seconds I'll make sure it stays at zero for the first two seconds and then between two and four seconds I want the amplitude to increase to three or the frequency to increase to three and then over the next four seconds I want it to increase again to fifteen let's say fifteen so that means it'll slowly uh, increase as the expression goes on through time so you want to go back into the rotation and option click on the stopwatch for X rotation and pick whip it to the slider null. And there you can see what uh, expression will link to that slider then. So we're just going to cut that expression out of there so we can use it in our full expression. So you type in wiggle first bracket and then paste that expression there so that the wiggle f uh, expression looks to that slider and then put in 20 because we know that 20 is the amplitude we want. So now you can see that uh, the red numbers are up there and that means it's being affected by the expression. Uh, and then you can do the same exact thing for each of these other uh, values of x and y, x, y, and z. And I decided I didn't want as large of an amplitude for the y axis, so I put a 10 in there and then put in 20. So let's see what this looks like. So it's still for the first bit. And then you drag out past when the amplitude starts to change, or when the frequency starts to change, and you can see that it starts to wiggle. These values are redded, and that means that you can't really keyframe them. These positions are good, but you get, you get uh, a weird starting position because the expression generates a random 
uh, number for each of these. So we're going to make another null and put another slider on this to be the second number. Um, so we can call it slider2, or I like to call it pixel slider, actually. Um, I guess. And we'll put the slider controller on that. And this time we're going to go. So for the first two seconds, we don't want the amount that it moves at all to change. So we'll keyframe 0, 0 for the first two seconds. And then let's go one frame after that. And um, let's change it to 20. So that for that next frame when I want it to start wiggling, it'll start generating. Uh, it'll start generating actual numbers for the wiggle expression. So then we go back in here, and we're going to copy and paste the exact same expression from the first part and replace the uh, the other numbers that we put, except where it says slider. Uh, this comp layer slider. So the slider effect and everything's the same, but under this layer, we need to change that to pixel slider because then that's the name of the layer that we want to affect the second number. So your full expression would be wiggle this comp layer slider effect slider control slider comma this comp layer pixel slider effect slider control slider. And you want to do that for all three of them. Now, I know in the other one, my Y layer was half the amount, and you could go in and put a divide by two expression in along with that, but I didn't, I didn't want to make it any more complicated than it already was. So I'm just making the X, Y, and Z all have the same expression. They'll still get random numbers, but this way it's a little bit less complicated. So for the first two seconds, it's perfectly still, and since the since the second number, the amplitude, is zero as well, it'll stay in a very neutral zero, zero position. Then, it starts to wiggle all of a sudden. I thought that was still a bit sudden, so I'm gonna come in here to the frequency and change this first key slider to one, so that it sort of go starts going a little bit slower. See, it goes slower now, but, okay, we're gonna make this easy just to make everything a little bit nicer but I still think I think it jumps a little bit too much because of that first one so I'm gonna expand this 20 out here a little bit so we get some smaller values in between and then easy ease all of these keyframes and I like the way that looks um, obviously you can mess with it and that's a bit intense I don't know if you want all of that but you get the idea so I'm Tyler and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial thanks for watching subscribe